Santa Barbara's Parks and Recreation Department has brought new life to Plaza Veracruz with an exciting new program for anyone willing to set aside their fear of heights and daring enough to put their trust on the line. So it's Santa Barbara Trapeze Company, it's Kids Camp, and we offer recreational circus arts uh, ranging from the flying trapeze, as you see behind you, um, to aerial silks, uh, static trapeze, and also um, tumbling and some uh, ground acts as well, like juggling and stuff like that. So I've been doing flying trapeze, performing and teaching flying trapeze for about 20 years, on and off. Um, and my involvement in the camp is I'm one of the camp directors, um, and we're doing uh, a lot of the days during the camp, we're planning the day, uh, teaching the kids, and um, also organizing the staff uh, to give their best, um, the best to the kids while they're here. We have kids from 6 to 13 at the camp, um, and we usually have around 30 kids each week. We do have adult classes. Uh, we offer open level recreational flying trapeze classes to anybody ages four and up. And most of the people that fly with us are beginners and have never done it before. Um, we offer those classes seven days a week. Santa Barbara Trapeze Company was previously located at Earl Warren Showgrounds and was looking for a new location. The city suggested Plaza Veracruz as it was recently renovated and looking to be reinvigorated. So we started about two years ago and they came and proposed having a location in the waterfront and we really couldn't make it work because we just didn't have the staffing resources, some logistics in the waterfront area. And then they set up at Old Warren so people got a little bit more familiar what the apparatus would look like, how it would function in a location. So I didn't know that they had an interest to even relocate. And then as it worked out for this location, we'd just done the renovation. We wanted to keep the fencing up to deal with some of the misuse issues we've had in the park before. It's had a long history of misuse behavior and illegal behavior, drug use and those types of activities. So when the city did a renovation here, we decided to take the playground out because there was nobody using it. It needed to be replaced. We came in and renovated all the turf. They actually maintain the park, so our parks division doesn't have to do that. They pay for the fencing and the restroom services, so it's actually been a relief on the city's budget. They manage the site very well, and they're open to the public. Forward, let go. Yeah, Patrick. So from the very first pre-kickoff meeting, we met with the neighbors and the businesses that are surrounding here. They were excited to have positive activity in the park. They wanted to keep the fencing up. Um, they are great stewards. They they eat lunch almost daily at the restaurant over here, so that's great for business. Um, from Parks and Recreation's perspective, they're great. They're serving anywhere from 30 to 45 kids on a weekly basis during the summertime. They have these types of classes as school goes back, so we see it as a win-win, and we're just really looking at kind of what the next iteration will be beyond the end of this calendar year. While you may be new to aerial arts, their team of longtime industry professionals collectively has over 50 years of experience. Sometimes people are a little unsure um, and they think maybe it's not safe or that somebody could get hurt, uh, but safety is our number one priority. And even beginners that are coming, um, we're making sure that they feel comfortable as they learn the trapeze and as they're going through it, we don't really pressure anybody to do anything they don't want to do. Everyone can move along at their own pace. Um, and I think well, usually once people see that and experience a class, they kind of fall in love with it. And they're usually telling everybody they know. So the department has a, a wide variety of programs from your traditional day camps to all the way up to extreme camps. So every year we're looking to add more and more different variety for parents to put their kids into for the summer and the school year. And so we, over the years, we've brought in surfing camps, stand-up paddle camps, kiteboarding camps. Uh, and this was a new opportunity for us to partner with Santa Barbara Trapeze Company to add this activity here. Uh, and since it's been here, it's been extremely popular and very successful. Anybody who's thinking about participating, a lot of people when they first see flying trapeze think it's, re think it's really exciting and then when they think about doing it they're a little unsure. Um, but we've been doing this for a very long time and we really love teaching beginners and sharing their craft with new people. Um, and we'll keep you safe the entire time and teach you some new skill or uh, something new to learn. And by the end of it you'll walk away with a feeling of mastery and accomplishment and a newfound confidence in yourself.